Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Saturday, coming at you with 2019 Bowman's Best Baseball, eight box, pick your team, number 14, 2019 edition of Bowman's Best Baseball. On the 11th, pick your team number 14. Thanks everyone for getting in. Chris Parent, last spot mojo, Cardinals. <laughs> Sean saying, Joe, you look like you'd be down to go to a gathering of the Juggalos. Chris says Joe's totally down with the clowns. Yeah, sure, why not? Seem like nice people. I'm always up for for uh, interesting stories, new experience. Why not? Those Niners cheerleaders, are, they're, they're, they're still multiplying. There's now there's guys waving flags in the background. What's this whole this whole spirit squad here? All right, two, four, six, eight. We appreciate 29. Is this 2019? Yeah, 2019. Just make sure I got the right case. Bowman's best baseball. Four autograph. Yeah, four autographs per box. Two per mini. So 32 autographs total. I want to say this is a sort of a smaller checklist, so you're bound to see some repeats here, but. But you can you can also see a lot of uh, a lot of different parallels for some of the guys that you're cha already chasing. So some more opportunities that I mean. Sean, why do you, why do you mention the the gathering of the jug? Is there a big juggalo convention happening? That we need to know about. Where is it? Is it is it in LA this year? Are these women getting paid? Do, 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 do the Niners pay their cheer squad? Isn't that like a big controversy? Billion dollar industry, you can't pay these ladies. <laughs> All right, good luck everybody. Baseball is almost upon us as well. So I'm looking forward to that. And Braves, Mark Bear, you can look forward to a Ronald Acuna Jr. Power Producers autograph, 75 out of 99 coming your way. That's what you can look forward to. Nice. I don't like that top loader. What's going on with that top loader there? No, oh, that's that is not befitting Ronald Acuna Jr. There you go. Nice start to the break. This guy's that guy's pretty good. I guess Silver Chris Davis. Like that'll represent all of the A's cards. Eloy rookie. We got some die cuts here too. We'll sleep and top load all those before they go out. How are we feeling about Austin Riley? This year, there's Fernando Tatis. I hope that he uh, he starts things off nicely. Great start to his career last year. Cooled off a little bit, but I'd like to see him get back into the into the fray. There's J.J. Blade, nice Marlins prospect, going to Richard Zitterman. Top five pick, I think. Let's look at the 2019 MLB draft. I like having this open to give you that information. Yeah, fourth overall. It's pretty good. Yasiel Puig to 250. Some die cuts. Some of those die cuts can be numbered as well. And we got Nick Lodolo. Nick Lodolo, seventh overall pick out of TCU. Die cuts, nice Pete Alonzo. We'll hold on to one of those. Your NL Rookie of the Year refractor. Hey, 
Mets, that'll be for Armando in the Metropolitans. Got Juan Soto, and we've got Brennan Malone. Autograph for the Diamondbacks. Brennan Malone, were you a first rounder? No. But, oh no, he was a compensatory round pick. 33, 33rd pick overall. Where'd you get all those comp compensatory picks? That wasn't for AJ Pollock, was it? Anyway, there you go. They had a 33rd and 34th pick. That right there. All right. Good start. Good start. Second box. Another four autographs. All right. Maybe it's time to switch to CVS now. Next four autographs. We'll do a quick little autograph recap at the end of the break, too. So if you're watching the replay of this and you're like, I don't really feel like sitting through the rest of this. Although you can fast forward through the video, too. I know this is a baseball break, but since we've got an important divisional weekend going on, who does everyone have? Tennessee at Baltimore. Whether whether you want to go straight up or whether you want to go with the spread or whatever you want to do, who do you have? We got Shervin Newton. Metropolitans, Armando with another one. Save one of those Senzels, too. You could have a good season this year. Key Boom, World Series champ. And we've got Grant Levine. I think Grant Levine was one of the last one of the last group of teams picked up. David Larson with the Colorado Rockies. And Grant Levine... No, I don't think he was a first rounder. I think their first rounder, Mike Toglia, was their big first rounder. He may be a notable selection, perhaps. Oh, we'll see what happens to him. Behind Josh Bell is Alec Manoa. Blue Jays. You're a 11th overall pick out of West Virginia. I like those college players because the college players you you tend to see sooner in the uh, in the majors if they make it. You tend to see them sooner, as uh, obviously as opposed to the college kids. There's Eloy Jimenez, his teammate Jose Abreu to 150 die cut. Ooh, redemption. Any guesses on that redemption there? Austin Riley. For bragging rights. Sean says Bishop. Hunter Bishop. Oh, it's probably Hunter Bishop for the Giants, right? 
That'll be for the randomizer at the end. You saw Sean was going back to the Juggalo thing. You saw a documentary short on the on the gathering and it seemed like I would fit in pretty well. I think I would. Michael Bush, Dodgers. Yeah, I'll probably fit in pretty well. I'll just probably go just like this. Maybe uh, drive drive my little uh, Mini Cooper out there. I'm sure it'll fit right in. Be like, hey, what's up? What's up, gathering? Let's talk about uh, let's talk about who you think good baseball prospects are going to be this year. Matthew, you went to the first four gatherings? Yeah, so Matt would know. I, I'd fit right in, right, Matt? I feel like, I feel like they're, they're a nice group of people. Logan saying Titans 31, Ravens 27. You think the Titans are going to put up 31? With their with their run heavy gameplay against the Ravens defense, it's pretty solid. The first one, the first gathering was in Matthew Stubblefield's hometown. Nice. For some reason, I don't know. They wouldn't wouldn't peg Michigan as the first place for the gathering. I suppose that makes sense. I wouldn't have thought it though. All right. Next ones we got. Speaking of Michigan, there's Detroit's Brock Death Rage. Death Rage, probably Death Rage, but there you go, Matt Subblefield. Yeah, ICP all about the death rage right here. Brock Death Rage, that's their favorite tiger. Bo Bichette die cut. And I think that's the case it right there. Nice, 63 out of 100. Shea Langliers. Langliers. Langier. Langliers. Mark Bear with the Braves. There's Walker Bueller to 150 for my Dodgers. I think David Larson got my Dodgers. Mitch Keller is your Pirates autograph that goes to James Carson. Sean saying, Logan, Baltimore greater than 30 points, Tennessee less than 17 points. I feel like a friendly wager should happen between Sean and Logan. Maybe maybe put a, put a spot and a break on the line or something like that. There's Atomic. Uh, Jordan Adams, Angels, die cut. And we got Davey Garcia. A little dust on there. Davey Garcia going to Robert Myhill and the Yankees. Matthew Stubblefield thinking, what, Baltimore Niners power out of dream match? It sounds like it's going that direction. Ooh, Bill Cower. Getting, getting, uh, getting the Canton uh, knocking on the door right on the studio. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's genuine emotion right there from Bill Cower. Nice. 
That's cool. Porters. Um, no, let's. Well, are the gift cards still on the on jazkeyscasebreaks.com? Maybe, maybe a maybe a loser buys a buys a jazkeyscasebreaks.com gift card for the other person. Are the gift cards still up on the site? Yeah, gift cards are still up on the site. Oh, the denominations start at twenty, so twenty dollars. How about that? Logan, Sean. And you gotta do a genuine uh, virtual handshake. Gentlemen's agreement. Ladies and gents, we got George Kirby. What if it's 27, 24 ball? I think pretty much the, the bet, Sean, would be that, that you're saying no to that score line, basically. George Kirby going to the Mariners. That'll be for Tyler Stumpf. George Kirby, were you a first rounder? Yes, 20th overall out of Elon University. I wonder if George Kirby is is has any relation to uh, the easy on the eyes Vanessa Kirby. One may never know, probably not. I don't think George Kirby is English. Brett Beatty to 150 for the Mets. Armando with the Mets. Frank, there's another number block for the Chase of Luca. Is there? Can you check for me? Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Nice, Brett Beatty. Brett Beatty, of course, uh, I think is one of the bigger chases for the Mets. 12th overall pick out of Lake Travis High School in Texas. I, don't know. I mean, you'll have to figure out the terms with Logan, Sean, who has suddenly become quite quiet after after that. So maybe shying away from that now that now that money is involved. Josh James. That goes to David Larson and the Astros. Corbin Carroll to 150. We'll have all those sleeved and top loaded, of course, before they go out. And we got Braden Shoemake, Atlanta Braves. That's going to go to Mark Bear in the Braves. Logan, there you are. Welcome back. We're just seeing if you and Sean disagrees with you, Logan. Maybe, uh, maybe a gentleman's wager. Between you and Sean, maybe Jaspie's gift card on the line, twenty dollar gift card on the line. If you just search gift card on the site, you can buy buy a gift card. That sounds like friendly wager territory there. Maybe with a break involved. And they got a good marching band out there. What shape are they making? That looks like a pinwheel. 
Your dog just got hurt. Sounds like a... Logan, are you trying to... Is, this is like, sounds like a dog ate my homework situation here. Trying to shy away from your prediction. I hope your dog's okay. If that's true. When they do these Hall of Fame things, the knock on the door sort of thing, do these people, these people have no idea, right? Because the reactions always seem to be pretty genuine. Next box, next four autographs. We're about halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. Let's save one of those Keston Hero rookies, too. That could be a big name this upcoming season. We got Brock Death Rage die cut autograph. Nice. 61 out of 150. Future Foundation, Matt Stubblefield and his Detroit Tigers. That's pretty strong, Matt. Nice. Out of 250, Joey Gallo. Eloy Jimenez, Atomic. And Dean Kramer. Orioles. Dean Kramer, a first rounder? That I don't know. I don't think so. I know. It was Rushman was the first round pick. But Dean Kramer for Robert Myhill and the Orioles. Twisted his how did how did the, your pup twist his toe? Poor toes. Travis Swaggerty. Oh hey, welcome. Oh thank God I didn't wear my NASA shirt today. Oh yeah, we had the same one. Uh, we, from Target. Yeah, ten dollars. Could have been dangerous. Cody Hosey. Those ten dollar t-shirts. They're fantastic. Great. Ten dollar graphic tees. I got a Black Friday special. I think mine was maybe seven ninety nine. Cody Hosey, Dodgers. David Larson. How are you feeling? Better? Good. Death Rage die cut. Just. And another Cody Hosey. You have to take a shuttle to the Uber pickup? It's not a shuttle, it's a city bus. And when it's a city bus, it's wow. not the ones that are in use. So it's like the ones that. Like so th that, that they're trying to retire? They had to retire but they're using it for the LAX? Oh, God. No wonder nobody wants to come here. I don't know what I sat in. It was sticky. Joey Gallo. Oh, God. I don't know. <laughs> so this will be part of that, that A's lot right here. And that's not me like being privileged. Because I've been on like, a New York City subway. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I get that. I'll bet you in a year there's going to be like you can go back the old the same way <laughs> alleviated traffic just but just build this just build the the train there uh-huh is that does that connect to the train station I don't know where the train station is going to be. I don't know. They call it a, it's like a, it's just like a big, one of those, uh, train, like a shuttle thing. I mean, Los Angeles realizes that there's going to be an all-star game in July, a Super Bowl in 2022, a World Cup in 2026, another Super Bowl in 2027, and the Summer Olympics in 2028. They got to get their S together. I know. Well, it's not going to be done in 2022. They gotta get their S together. There's three major events in LA yeah, in a row. 26, 27, 28. I would suggest finding Long Beach. It's so much more pleasurable. I know a lot of flights don't go there. No, just go to John Wayne and then yeah. Well, take. Or, yeah, John Wayne is the same I'm talking Pretty about Pretty much. I think that's the same one. No, John Wayne is. 
Burbank. Burbank, that's Bob Hope. Yeah, fly into Burbank. Bob Hope, Burbank, there's like nobody there at Burbank. It's great. All right. Nick Lodolo, another Nick Lodolo, this time with some color on it. That's to 99. That goes to Matt Gomes and the Red Legs. Yeah, we got a lot of events coming up. Although I think the World Cup is just maybe one or two matches, so that's not going to be too bad. Um, Super Bowl week is just a week. It's going to be crazy. I'm nervous about the Olympics because that's like a month-long event. And so Los Angeles has to has to sustain – oh, nice franchise favorites to 50. Has to be able to have thousands of – tens of thousands of athletes plus thousands of press and, you know, fans just to come in and – fly through here and then fly out and then house them for a month and then have them fly out. It's Will Wilson. I may just have to buy a, I may just have to like buy a house just real quick and then just rent it out. Airbnb it through Olympic season and just make all of my money back. Josh Bell to 250. I don't know what Musk is like the Wizard of Oz, Matthew Stubblefield. He's not making that tunnel. Corbin Carroll. I do agree with that, JB. JB saying Titans really undervalued, mostly because of how overvalued the Ravens are. This is true. Okay. I mean, really, the value play is indeed Titans... Uh, Titans money line would be the, the the best value play here. I mean, I laid the points with Baltimore, but really the the, the sharp choice is probably a unit maybe on a Tennessee money line just yeah. for value. Well, on, on money line, I don't know. I don't think they have a shot. You don't think they have a shot? No. They probably don't. But if you had to, like, if someone said, "Here's ten bucks to bet on," I, I would go. do like a. Uh, one of those different point spreads, and just have Baltimore winning by like twenty. Oh, take the uh, take an alternate. Uh, it's like plus right, that would be probably. plus money. Yeah. yeah. Just, just, just hope for a blowout. Right. Yeah, might be a way to go. To use take an alternate line. This a new blade. New blade. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we got, we got to get new blades for the other other knives. Other we have to we have to yeah. order those. A, sh a, a, a dull blade is a dull blade dangerous blade. You know how most kitchen accidents happen? Dull blade, trying to cut like French bread or something like that and then they slice their hands. Trying to open up an avocado and they have a dull blade, slips right out and then dunzos. All right, so here's my first touchdown props. I need first touchdowns from either Jonu Smith, Ferkser, Tannehill, or the Tennessee defense. Seth Roberts or the Baltimore defense? <laughs> Lamar Jackson like plus 500, so he's like it's not worth taking. No, not worth, not worth it. Mark Ingram's like plus 600. You take Lamar Jackson to win the Super Bowl MVP already for plus 200. Ooh. Nate Lowe, 24 out of 25. Atomic autograph for the Rays. And that will be for Sean Black. Oh, let me get my T-loaders over there. I think AJ Brown, at least my book, AJ Brown was only like fifteen to one, ten to one. No lower. I, I was gonna take Corey Davis for eighteen to one, eight plus eighteen hundred. I think AJ Brown is like plus nine hundred or something. There's Wander Franco to two fifty. I feel like those first touchdown props really don't have value unless you get yeah they're total scam. But I'm putting like a dollar or two on each of these. Because if you add them all up, there's no you know. A lot of them should be higher odds. Cal Mitchell? That's true, yeah. He's in Trader Joe's. That goes to James Carson and the Pirates.
And another Cal Mitchell color. Yes. At a 150. So like I said before, at the start of the break, smaller checklist, so some repeats, but generally when there is a repeat, it'll often be a parallel, so some good value here if there's specific players you're chasing. Matt Walner for the Twins, that goes to John Hyenga. And there's our last jack here, thanks Nick. Hunter Green, Brendan Rogers. Here's the last one here. And we got Alec Baum. 46 out of 150. Strong corner infielder for the Phillies. Could be a future star for them. I think a high round, high draft pick in 2018. That goes to the Phillies. David Larson with the fight and fills. I just want to put a PSA out there. We're 21 followers away from 10,000 on Instagram. On the IG? So, and we have we get the K next to our name. At Jaspies Breaks? Yeah, 21 followers away. At Jaspies Breaks. Twitter, at Jaspies Breaks. Instagram, more importantly, where we do Instagram live breaks now. Personal boxes on jaspies.com. So group breaks always on jaspiescasebreaks.com. Personals and other in-store stuff, jaspies.com. And you'll see details on our personal boxes live on IG, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And if that becomes successful, maybe more days? Maybe more days. Maybe we're going to sell singles on the jaspies.com too? Maybe every day. Wow. Maybe maybe if like I pull a, a one-of-one one monster for somebody and they're like, hey, maybe no. put it on consignment? Put it in the showcase. Put it right on jaspies.com? Put it on the website. See? No eBay fees. Victor Victor Mason, maybe, maybe we'll take a tiny little cut. Yeah. That's it'll be way lower than eBay fees. So there you go. Maybe exchange for break credit. Victor Victor Mesa going to the Marlins. Richard Zitterman, Joey Gallo Green to ninety nine, die cut. Keston Hira. Greg Jones is our last autograph. That's for the Rays, and that'll go to Sean Black, who got the Nate Lowe a little bit earlier as well. So a couple Rays for Sean. Vlad Guerrero will sleeve and top load all of those and these die cuts before they go out at Senzel as well. Let's do a quick randomizer, then we'll do the quick audio, audio recap. Autograph recap. So this will represent all of the... Uh, the A's cards that may be in there, or at least the non... Oh, no, everything ships in this, so... So the A's cards. All right, so everyone from Justin and the Diamondback down to Jose and the Nationals has a shot, but not the A's spot. That's where someone's name is going to go. Let's roll it and randomize it. Five and a four, nine times. Name on top gets it after nine. One. Good luck. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, A's cards go to Richard Zitterman. There you go, Richard. Some extra cards going your way. So we'll put your name right in that A's slot right there. So like this Chris Davis, among others, will go out to you. Here's a quick autograph recap. Another great Bowman's best break in the books. I think I saw another case in the back, folks. So, no, the Michael Toglia goes to Rockies. I don't think I mentioned that. David Larson, that's his, that's their late first round pick. Some Cal Mitchells, Nate Lowe. Pretty solid break overall. Some high round draft picks. I like that Death Rage die cut autograph for the Tigers. Some good color. That's the case hit. Some few Dodgers was nice as well. Pete Alonzo, Lodolo, Blade, and we let off with a really nice Ronald Acuna Jr. Power Producers autograph. So that was really cool as well. Pick your team 14 in the books, 2019 Bowman's Best Baseball. There should be some more in the store, so check it out and more baseball on jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe, and I'll break that with you next time.